Every is familiar with the process and at times dreads watching the numbers rise. But with gasoline prices at their lowest in six years, it's now a welcome task. So we wanted to find out the economics behind the numbers. Some of it is because of uh, the big increase in, in the North American uh, supply of oil because of uh, these new sources that we've, uh, rather old sources that we're redeveloping by means of fracking and other new technologies. The oil that was difficult to extract previously cannot be extracted. UTB economics professor Gotham Hazarika says one of the driving forces of bringing those prices down is a result of competition between American companies and Saudi Arabian companies. Fracking is an expensive uh, uh, you know, operation and so these companies would need a, a sufficiently high price of oil to keep their operations uh, profitable. The Saudis want to get, you know, see them out of business and so they too have been increasing their output of oil to drive down oil prices. The magic number oil companies that use fracking need to make is $65 per barrel of crude oil. Currently, the price is $48.79. The budgets of many states in the U.S. and many countries are being hurt. Everyone's used to seeing oil drills go up and down, but fracking is a controversial process, extracting oil from rock nearly a mile underground. An analogy would be this. In the old days, there was a big pool of oil that you could simply put a straw down into and suck up. But now, you, you have a lot of... Uh, rock, let's say, that is, that is soaked with oil. You see, now you, have, you think of those rocks as sponges and, and they hold oil. And to get it out, you can't just put a straw down there and suck anymore. Essentially, what is resulting in the gas prices being their lowest since early 2009 is a supply and demand chess match between companies foreign and domestic. The Saudis can only carry on so long, I think. They can't just do this forever. At some point, they are going to need a higher price of oil. Otherwise, they, they risk political instability at home. So don't go out and buy your gas guzzling super duty just yet. Well, I think this, this low price is not going to last, is my point. Uh, maybe another six months to a year max, it'll be up again in the $3 something range. Reporting in Harlingen, Elizabeth Espinosa, Action 4 News.